You know that thing that can happen on a Friday or Saturday night? You've had a couple of beers and you think it's a good idea to start looking at eBay and Reverb. Now I can tell you it's never a good idea after a couple of beers to look at eBay and Reverb. In the past, I've bought an upright piano. We didn't need an upright piano. We didn't have the space for an upright piano, but I still bought an upright piano. Anyway, on Saturday, after a couple of beers, I decided to look at Reverb and I found something that actually piqued my interest. Now, luckily it was under 10 pounds, so it didn't break the bank. And I've got to say, it's probably one of the best things that I've ever bought in my whole guitar playing career for under 10 pounds. So what did I buy? I bought this. Now this is a 1966 old British penny that's been converted into a plectrum by a company called the Highland Plectrum Company. Now this video is completely unsponsored. They don't even know that I'm making this video, but I've got to say this thing is fantastic. So let's have a listen to a few sound examples. If you listen to Pretender by the Foo Fighters, if you listen to the guitar sound in the intro, you'll notice how there's an almost pick scrapey metal on metal sort of sound to it. And I think they achieved that by using a metal pick. Let me play that riff and then I'll play it with the plastic plectrum and you can hear the difference. So that's using the metal pick. Now if I switch over to the plastic pick, So you lose that, I wonder if I can demonstrate it. So this is me picking with the plastic pick. And now this is me picking with the penny pick. Hopefully it's coming across in the, in the recording and with the YouTube algorithm, but it does, it sounds completely different in the room. It's much brighter, you get much more attack and much more definition. So let's compare the two. Let's let's do a few different riffs with the, the penny plectrum, the metal penny plectrum, and then we'll do some with the plectrums that I normally use, which are Dunlop flows. <laughs> It's a massive difference. I've just switched over to the penny plectrum. You've got all this extra clarity, it's amazing. Let's try a couple of other riffs. So that was with the penny plectrum. Let's move over to the Dunlop flow. Right, let's switch some overdrive on and see how it reacts to some lead plan. Okay, so that was with the penny plectrum. Dump flow. It sort of loses weight in the sound as well. There's a definite difference, even though this is a thick plectrum, there's a definite difference in the amount of weight to the sound as well. Let's try a couple of other things. Let's try the Dunlop flow. And back to the penny pick. And now the Dunlop flow. 
It's almost harder to play with the original Dunlop Flow plectrum. I really hope the sound comes across on YouTube as it does in the room, but I couldn't recommend this highly enough. I mean, I know that eight pounds is expensive for a plectrum, but you can spend six pounds on a gravity plectrum, and arguably that is a lump of perspex that's been shaped into a plectrum. This is an old penny, a little bit of history, and you know you can see the detail in it, how perfectly that's been cut and shaped. It's obviously taken a long time to do, so I couldn't recommend this enough. I'm going to leave a link to the Highland Plectrum Company in the notes below, and um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.